a World War II bomber is flying over Japan on a mission. It's going to drop a bomb that's going to fall 9,000 meters until it hits the ground. And it's moving at a speed of 160 meters per second when the bomb is released. So that means that's how fast the bomb is going. And we need to know, well, how far before the target should the plane be before it drops the bomb to hit where it wants to have the bomb land? So now we got to put our numbers in the correct spots. We know that the plane and bomb are moving initially at 160 meters per second, so that is my x speed. We know that it's going to fall 9,000 meters, so negative 9,000 meters in the y. We know it's got no up and down speed initially, because it's a horizontal thing, so the initial speed in the y is zero meters per second. Acceleration in the y is always negative 9.8 meters per second squared. And the question is asking, hey, how far ahead of that target should the plane be? Basically, how far is the bomb gonna go before it hits the ground 9,000 meters below? So that is our distance in the x direction. So now we're looking for something in the x direction. We don't have enough information to solve. We need time. So we're gonna go in the y direction and solve for time. So I pick the equation that does not have VF in it, since that's my blank spot, and that is the equation D equals V naught T plus one half AT squared. And now with horizontal projectile motion, we know initial speed in the Y is zero, so make your life easier and get rid of that term because V naught is zero, the whole term goes away. That makes the algebra so much simpler to do. I have to multiply, or multiply by two, or divide the half over. So I get 2d on the left. I'm going to divide my a over to the left, so that's in the denominator. And that would give me t squared, but I don't want t squared. I just want t. So I take the square root of the left side, and that's how we do it. So now I can plug in my numbers. So I have 2 times negative 9,000 meters divided by negative 9.8 meters per second squared, all under a square root symbol. And when I plug that into my calculator, I get for time 42.86 seconds per t. Now I know what the time is in the x direction. That's got to be the same thing, 42.86 seconds per t. Now I can plug into the only equation we have in the x direction because it's, there's no acceleration, there's just one equation to pick, and that is d equals v times t. No algebra needs to be done, it's already set up for what we're looking for. I just have to multiply my 160 meters per second multiplied by 42.86 seconds, and I find out that the bomb is going to travel 6,857.6 meters before it lands on the ground below. So the plane better be that far ahead of its target when it drops the bomb.